Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing the FUSA. If you're like me, the first time you ever heard of a FUSA was while watching the 2005 movie Madagascar. The cool thing about this is that it gives us a clue as to where FUSAs live. These carnivores are found only on the island of Madagascar. And, as the movie implies, they eat a lot of lemurs. But what exactly is a FUSA? They look like a small red cougar, but they have round ears like a mongoose. They can climb trees with their semi-retractable claws, like a gray fox, but they also walk on the ground with plantigrade locomotion, like a bear. They have long whiskers like an otter, but also a long tail to balance them while climbing through the trees, like a lemur. So what are they? Well, even scientists are a bit baffled though currently they're listed in the family of carnivores only found on Madagascar. And they're believed to be closely related to mongooses. Put simply, they're completely their own animals. And in fact, they're the largest living terrestrial mammalian carnivores on the island of Madagascar. Fusas live in dry and wet forests from sea level to 6,500 feet in elevation. They're solitary outside of the breeding season and mark their territories with scent. Fusas have an anal pouch that stores a stinky fluid which they'll release when threatened or irritated, though these carnivores don't have much to worry about in terms of predators. Fusas top the food chain on the island of Madagascar. Their main food source is lemurs, which may make up more than 50% of their diet. They also eat reptiles, rodents, birds, and invertebrates like crabs. Unfortunately, being a top predator doesn't always mean they're safe from harm. Fusas are threatened by habitat loss, and they've been harmed by introduced diseases like rabies from domestic animals. They also have a horrible reputation as pests who steal livestock and eat children. While these claims are exaggerated, much like the hyena, it hasn't helped to temper their image, so they're hunted out of fear. Fusas have a fascinating breeding strategy. The breeding season is from approximately September to December, and mating almost always occurs in a tree. The female finds a horizontal tree branch and a group of males gather below her. They'll fight one another for her affection, and she'll mew to them to show her receptiveness. Males that earn a spot take turns mating with her over the course of a week until she leaves, and another female takes her place. Each session can last hours, and, like wolves and other canids, they'll be stuck together for a brief period of time. Gestation in fusas lasts about three months, and the babies are born in a den. This may be underground, in a termite mound, or in a tree cavity. There are two to six pups per litter, and it takes four and a half months before they venture outside. They'll remain with their mother for a year or longer, and only reach reproductive maturity around four years of age. It's unknown how long fusas live in the wild, though they've lived to 20 years old in captivity. These mammals are often described as looking like a small cougar. Males are slightly larger than females, and they range in weight from 12 to over 20 pounds. On average, they stand about 14 inches at the shoulder and have a body length of about two and a half feet. Their tail is just as long as their body, if not slightly longer. This is used to balance their weight as they move through the trees. In fact, a fusa can keep up with a lemur swinging through the forest canopy. Plus, fusas have flexible ankles that allow them to climb down a tree head first. They're active during both day and night and sleep in multiple sessions throughout a 24-hour cycle. So they're neither diurnal nor nocturnal. They're cathemeral. While they are generally described as solitary, there was an observation of three male fusas working together to bring down a lemur. Once caught, the males shared in the meal together. This may be relic behavior from a time when larger lemurs roamed the island, or there may be just more to learn about these fantastic animals. For more facts on fusas, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, Spike Spiegel 93 Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.